Okay, folks, we're going to use a few different devices to open some things and, and make other things happen in Fortnite. The main focus of this is going to be to have some creature spawners, and those creature spawners, once certain monsters are killed, will unlock a area of the map. But this can also be used in a variety of ways, and I'll try to break this into some small pieces so that even if you're not using creature spawners, there'll be some things for you to watch. So I'm gonna start by jumping in here and opening up a, or creating a new island. Uh, avoid the Battle Royale Island for now. I have not been able to get it to work. It just bugs out and creates a lot of havoc. So here, why don't we do this? Let's create a large grid. There we go. Portal should already be set for that one. No. And then we'll just hop in when it's ready. You can do this on any type of island whatsoever. But this one is a rather large grid. This looks like it must be the center spot. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need to create a player spawner. So I'm going to hit I, I'm going to go to creative, I'm going to go to devices, and I'm going to type in player spawner. There we go. And wherever I place that, wherever it's facing, should be the forward for that. So I can rotate it however I want. place it that way. So now if I say start game, I will start in that spot. Okay, I can end game and go back. Turn to island. Now, it's a little in the air, which is probably going to be fine because if I go into, oops, if I hit I, I go into creative, and I go into, say, the galleries. I have to remove that player spawner search. If I grab a piece of floor, and then I place that piece of floor, it's, oh no, it's still a little high. Okay, let's use our phone to cut, and then we will place, and I'll hit G for drops, which will mean it's gonna drop to the ground. There we go. So it's now on that ground. And if I didn't want it on the ground, on, on this ground, I want it on the grid, I could redo that and it would drop to the ground. Okay, so I've got my spawner there. And essentially the, the heart of this is that we're gonna create an area that we can't get out of. So what I can do is I can go back into inventory and I can grab some walls. And you can select whatever walls you want. I can undo that. I can go to into to any of these and by clicking on it, it's gonna take me inside and then I could grab the wall that I want. Let's see, now I'm getting picky. Let's go back. Let's start, look at the new this season. Those are all props, Hunter's Haven. Let's use this. Okay, let's grab this wall here seems like a pretty generic wall. And I'm just going to make a very small space. If I was flying, this would go a lot faster, but I, I sort of have the potential issue of overshooting or building high. But I can always go back and I can hit X to delete these things really quickly. So what I did in class was I did not use a door. I just created an opening and there's my opening. So that would be my way out. I would see it as soon as I start and there, under devices, is something called barrier. Oops. 
barrier. Here it is, barrier plate device. Oh, that barrier device is new. I think I'm gonna use this new one, which I didn't use in class. This looks like it's something that doesn't require a floor placed under it. So, yep, and it's also not snapping into a position. So it doesn't really matter which one I use. I don't think if I can edit this one and say visible during game, barrier style. So normally it's translucent, but I can make it look like anything else. So I could say red force field and I can change its size, but there we go. So now when I start the game, So the barrier doesn't show up until the game actually starts. So that can can be a tiny bit confusing, but it will stop me from, from going through it. Okay, so I now am in a room and I can't get out. So there's a few things that we could do. And the first is I can create a new, hitting I, going to creative, we can create something called a mutator zone. And oh, this is interesting. These are all the new changes that I'm discovering. So I use this one in class. This one, the mutator zone plate, it, it was, it's set up as a trap. And as a trap, it has to be placed on a surface. It can't just be placed on the bare grid. And this new one, the mutator zone, I can place it anywhere I want with Let's, I'm going to hit F to push it away from me. So this is really nice. I'm really excited about this. So I'm going to try and position it as well as I can on that tile. And then I'm going to increase the size. So width is going to be the direction I don't want. But depth is going to be the direction I do want. So I'm creating something where the player cannot move forward without triggering this mutator. Allow weapon fire by default is no, and I'm going to say yes, I want to allow. Um, normally it's invisible during game, and that actually makes sense for me. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. You can You could actually change gravity in a certain zone. And so there are basic options and under all options at the very bottom, there are things like on player entering zone, transmit on. And so what we can do is we can set a channel and I can just say channel one. And so when a player enters that zone, do something on channel one. Okay. Then I can run over to this zone and say, enable when receiving from channel one or disable when receiving from channel one there we go so what's going to happen now is when i hit start there is a zone that will stop me from going through it but i can turn that zone off by crossing over that mutator that was right here and that turns off that zone i'm going to end that game Okay, so that is step one, and that is the, the basics of how interaction happens in Unreal. So if you send a note on a channel to another object, you have abilities like turning off that, that thing or turning on that thing. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this tutorial here because that's everything that is applicable to people who wanna do this without using creatures. And then the next step will be, if you wanna use creatures, this is how you make the creatures work with, with this kind of code. So I'll be right back in the next video.